I've been riding about 20 years. At the moment, I've got 200 brosses, so 400 and a 650. I've got a Dnieper outfit. Sometimes I ride a Gas Gas around fields, woods. Um, sometimes I ride a CRF 250L, GSX 750F, random bikes that people let me ride on. I've had this about a month now. I've done quite a lot of riding around in the wet, in the grit, salt, dodging potholes. Um, I quite like riding in the twisty little roads, the sort of back lanes and things, so I've done quite a bit of that. Um, also A roads, uh, a bit of everything really. First impressions um, were, it's got really bad tyres, slightly too long a reach, for my arms, for each handlebars while I'm riding. And at 20 minutes after going, hey, this is really fun. I thought, well, what am I gonna do when it doesn't break down? This is gonna be really boring. What am I gonna do at home tinkering? There's nothing to tinker on. So the tires actually, when I got home and I checked with the pressures, I realized they were a bit low. So after I'd, I'd pumped them up, it went much better. I like it that it's, it's really easy to ride. It's a, quite an everyday bike. You can just get on it and go. Um, it's a pretty comfortable position. Um, I've taken it out for 100 miles in a day and it's, you know, you come back and it's still comfortable, so that's good. Um, I like the styling, I like the colour. I like it that it, it looks like a classic, but it's more reliable. Easy controls, good mirrors. Um, yeah, it's quite. It's it's a good enough size that is it can overtake. It's nippy, um, but it's not too big that you get carried away. I like it that the exhaust isn't too loud. So some of the bikes I ride, you just have to wear earplugs because otherwise, by the time you've ridden all day, you can't hear anything. Um, so it makes a nice noise, but it's civilized and doesn't deafen you. I know a lot of people would want to change them, want loud, something louder, something with a different styling. Personally, I like them. I like the basic dials. I, I just get a bit frustrated with things that try and tell me what to do all the time. Um, but obviously it does mean you need to check your own tire pressures. You need to check your own whatever else is it might possibly tell you. I like it that it's not, it's not got a lot of vibration comes through the bars. So I suffer a bit with um, nerves in my, in my hands and arms. And this is really nice. I mean, I just generally like it overall. I think it's quite good value for money. Um, if you want a classic, a modern classic, this is this does the job and is within the you know budget and price range of, of, of a lot of people. I mentioned I've got a, a 650 Bros. This is faster than that, um, which obviously this is 34 years newer. Um, so I would expect it to be slightly better. Um, yeah, it's it's got more more room for more punch. So for overtakes or just accelerating, this is is much easier. If it had more power, then obviously it would be quicker. But then you get carried away. So I quite like it that it's not too big. Because I like having a driving license and I like like not killing myself. <laughs> so I think um, yeah yeah riding bikes with bigger engines, I do tend to go a bit too enthusiastically. I like the position of the engine, it's got a low centre of gravity which does mean it's easier to move around um, being shorter than probably who it's aimed at. I'm five foot four. Um, it, it means that it's got it's easier to move. Sometimes if you've got if you've got more weight up the top it's, it is harder to, to shift them around um, on the ground. Obviously once you're riding it doesn't really matter. Yeah, the riding position is a, is a little bit of a long reach for me. I'd probably want to put some different bar raises on or twist the handlebars back a little bit, just an inch or two, because um, I'm short. So I end up sitting a bit too far forward, which isn't the most comfortable place when you're sitting half on the tank. They ride all sorts of bikes. Um, it went really well. Um, there's, my friends have got the different levels of experience, different bikes. We're, I think uh, last weekend I was riding with uh, a GS, uh, an MT-03, Yamaha MT-03, a BMW, uh, and um, an Intruder, and this. So it's quite a range. Um, we all did well, all got along. You know, it, yeah, it, it's it's good.
does it does whatever you want really. Yeah, there is a bit of oxidization um, has occurred on on the metal there, which again the the conditions of the roads have been pretty rubbish and there's grit and salt around. So I've got bruises all up my right leg from from moving it around when I'm on the ground. Um, so obviously being a bit shorter, it's harder to reach across the handlebars um, when I'm moving it, which means I'm then limited to where I can put my legs, <laughs> which means that they're right where the foot pigs are. Um, so that's annoying. Also when riding, when you're coming to a stop or something and you're putting your foot down, it, it's just right where you want to put your leg. So I'm, you're then wondering whether to put your leg in between the gear shifter and the peg or try and put it to the side or the front or the back, in which case you're quite unbalanced um, being shorter. The tank is in a matte paint and then the side panels are shiny and the tail bit. To me that seems like a little bit of inconsistency. Um, I didn't initially notice it but once I have noticed it it's kind of bugging me slightly. I just think that the dials have got condensation in. Um, it's come back up again now. It cleared this morning when I was riding but um, so it just means you can't quite see how much fuel you've got and you can't quite see Basically, you have to do 40 miles an hour before you know how fast you're going, which is probably not, not an excuse the police want to take. Someone who is keen on the classics doesn't necessarily have a huge amount of mechanical knowledge or uh, know-how. Um, so, yeah, you don't have to do much work on it. It's not, it's not like a thing that you have to tinker with all the time, fettling to try and keep it going, because it has got modern technology, which is, is really good. I would buy one. It's not top of my list. Um, probably six, I think it was, about six. Which is quite, it's quite high, yeah. I thought, yeah, I do like it. I really like it, actually. Really, I really appreciate being uh, given the chance to have the bike on loan. So thank you to Shower Blake and Royal Enfield. And thank you to Alex. And thank you to the Classic Motorcycle Channel. And, and just thanks.